Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel of Developers and Coders Club. Today we are here to discuss the problem constructive problem which is the third problem in the contest at 6 6. So in this question we are given a sequence A of non-negative integers and we are allowed to perform a following operation exactly once. And what is the operation? There it is. Uh, you will select a segment from L to R in this A and we will update all integers from L to R with any integer K. Okay, then assign value k to all elements of the array on the chosen subsegment. The task is to find out whether max of a, that is current max of a, can be increased by exactly 1 by performing such an operation. In other words, if before operation max of a is m, then after performing this operation, that should be m plus 1. Now, what is our task? It is, we will given a sequence like this, like 0, 2, 2 and 0. Then what is the max of this? So I hope you all know that what is the max. Let us recall the max of a set of integers 7 to ck is defined as the smallest non-negative integer x which is, does not occur in the set c. Like uh, what will be the max for, for this one? That will be 4. What will be for this? that will be 1. For this, that will be 0. What is the max, uh, smallest non-negative integers which is not present in the sequence? That will be the max. So for this, max will be 1. And what is our target that we want to update our max with the max plus 1? So we want to change this sequence in such a way that max of that sequence should be 2. So what can be the possible approach for this? Uh, you all know that we want to change that into so if we want to change that into two then uh, this sequence should not uh, contain two because if that so, should that will contain two then the max will be three like zero one two that will be three so if you want to ma make the max two then this sequence should not contain two so what what is our target now that we want to update or we want to replace all these two with uh, any other element so we want to uh, replace all these elements. Now another point is that uh, now our max is 1. Initially our max was 1. And we want to update uh, this with plus 1. So that is obviously a point that uh, this one should contain. This sequence should contain this one also. So we can update all these two with 1. So now this max of this sequence is uh, 2. So now what can be the possible approach for this that uh, there is two conditions. First of all, what we will do? We will uh, check what is the current max of our sequence. What is the current max of our sequence? So there can be two conditions. Either this can be n or this can be less than n. Any m which is less than n. If that is n, what I mean to say? That like uh, value of n is given to 4 and our sequence is like 1, 2, 0, 3. Now what is max of this? That is 4. Now if you want to make the max of this equal to 5, then there is a simple thing that uh, this sequence should contain all elements from 0 to 4. That is the only condition in which max of that sequence will be 5. But uh, if that contain all elements from 0 to 4, then count of element is 5 here. But the value of 1 is only 4. So we cannot make 5 elements here. So if uh, max of initial sequence is n, then we simply print no. And if that is less than n, then we will check that uh, there can be another co two conditions that, uh, like uh, like we see in previous example, that we want to make our max equal to m plus one. Then there can be two conditions, like call it like r. There can be two conditions that uh, our initial sequence contains R or not contain R. If that contains R, then we have to replace all occurrence of this R in our sequence. And if that doesn't contain R, then we don't need to replace uh, this type of operation. So, in this type of condition, what we will do? We will check that what is the uh, minimum index. What is the minimum index of R? 
and what is the maximum index of R. Whatever is this, we will update all elements from mini to max, mini to maxi to mx. What I want to say, let just think that uh, whole sequence is like uh, 0, 2, 3, 3, this is 1, it is 0, 3, 1, 4, 3. This is the given sequence. Now, what is the max of this? That is 2. Okay. Then we want to make max equal to 3. Then we have to replace these 3 and these 3 also. Because if 3 will be present in sequence, then max of that will cannot be 3. So what we will do? We will change elements from this to this. Because we can perform only one operation. So we have to select all elements from this to this. And we will change that with 2. So now you can check that the max of this equal to 1. So there can be two conditions that after updating it, this one or max of the current sequence that can be either uh, mx plus m plus 1 or that can be that cannot be uh, m plus 1. So in this case we will print yes or in this possibility we will print no. What I want to say that uh, First of all, there can be two condition that our uh, current max is not less than n. If that is, then we will check that is uh, or r is present in the sequence or not. And what is r? That is the max which we want to make. That is m plus 1. m is initial max. So if that is present, then we have to update all occurrence of r in our sequence. So we will check our minimum index, maximum index and update all elements from minute to max to current m after updating that we will check that what is the current max if that is equal to m plus 1 then we will print yes if that is no then we will print no and if our current sequence doesn't contain r then what we will do then our target is only that we uh, want to insert or m what is this m that is the initial max of uh, max of initial sequence so we want to insert that m in our sequence because that is that is the obvious thing that if our sequence doesn't contain m then the max of that will be m not m plus 1 so we want to insert m in our sequence so what can be the possibilities to insert that that uh, there can be two possibilities uh, we can insert our m with uh, elements which are less than m or elements which are more than m if elements are more than m, then that uh, that elements are not making any impact on our solution. So we can directly replace our that array of i with m. And if uh, elements is less than m, like just think 0, 1, 3, 4, and 7. In this, we want to make the, the current max is 2. And we want to make 3. Like, let me mark remove it because we want to come in this type of condition that doesn't contain r so we want to make 3 so we want to insert 2 in this sequence so what can be the condition that if we replace our 2 with 4 or 7 replace our 2 with 4 or 7 then that will not make any impact on our solution and the max of that will be 3 but just think that if uh, our sequence doesn't contain uh, more elements what we will do in that type of condition that uh, 0, 1, 1 and okay so in this it is like just think a sequence 0, 0, 0 all are zeros so what will the max of that sequence that is current 1 and we want to make 2 so what we can do that we can replace any 0 with 1 but there is a condition like just think that there is only one zero and if we replace that with one so max of that will be max of this is zero so the frequency of that element should be more than one only in that condition we can replace that with the uh, current max so now what is our final solution let first of all check the max of initial sequence that can be either equal to n or that can be less than m. 
If that is equal to n, then print no. If that is less than n, then there can be two condition. Let me mark a r that is max of a plus one. Or initial sequence contains r or doesn't contains r. If that contains r, then we have to check the minimum in, min, minimum index of this r and maximum index of this r, and update all elements from this minimum index to maximum index. All elements from this to this to m. What is some that is initial uh, max of initial sequence. Update all elements to m and then check that what is the max of current sequence. If that is m plus one, if that is m plus one, then print yes or else print no. And if that doesn't contain r, then what we will do? We'll check that is there contain any elements which is more than over m. Is there present any element which is more than or m? Or is there element el, any element which is less than m? As well as frequency of that element should be more than one. If that is, then we will print yes, or else we will print no. So let me go in the solution. That first of all, I'm taking the input for n. Then this is the how uh, I'm creating a duplicate array of uh, same a uh, called br. And now I'm checking here what is the max of initial sequence and how I am calculating that. That I am sorting the array. Then I'm marking a element cur current equal to zero. Then if the element is not equal to if it, that is equal to equal to current, then I am updating our current with plus one. And if that is not equal to current, that means that is is keeping this current. So this current will be the final uh, max of that. So I am breaking that, and the max of that is will be equal to current. Then there can be two condition that this can be equal to one or that can be or that can be not equal to one. So if that is equal to one, then I am printing no or else. What I am doing that I am calculating the initial uh, minimum index of m x plus one and the maximum index of m x plus one. That is s and r. Then there can be two condition that if s is equal to equal not equal to minus one in that condition or sequence contains this m x plus one because I am initializing or s with minus one. So if that is not updated in that condition, this will come in this side, and if that is updated as that means our sequence contains r. So what we will do? We will uh, make a loop from h to r plus one, update all elements to m x. Then we will check again what is the current of this sequence. If that is equal to m x plus one, then we will print yes. Either we will print no. And if our sequence that doesn't contain r. In that condition, we will check that is there any element which is less than m x plus one. We can make m x plus one or m x because uh, our sequence doesn't contain m x as well as that also contain doesn't doesn't contains m x plus one. So if that is less than array of i as well as the frequency of that should be more than one. On like I am initializing our flag with one. If that is, then I am updating with zero. And there can be another condition that that is more than m x plus one. In that also, I am making flag equal to zero. In final, this flag is one. Then I am printing no, else yes. So that was the solution for this uh, problem. I hope you all understand it. You will get the code in the description. Uh, see you in the next problem. Till then, happy coding. Bye bye.